My name is Joseph Spenlove and it's day number one of after the 40 day Daniel Fest I've been doing. Now the reason we're doing a continuation of the video is that coming off a of fast you often put all the weight back on um, and you often um, feel terrible and you're sick and you've got digestional problems. So I really want to give you some support through these videos of how to come off the fast. Um, now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to carry on with the Daniel fast but I'm now going to take um, advice from this book which is Healing Our Children which is ba basically a preconception diet. Okay. Now the reason that I'm doing this is because it's based on the metabolic typing diet which obviously my slim brother slimmers do know that's something I, I think is absolutely key to your um, health. Okay, one of the biggest things is obviously carrying on with fruit, vegetables and salad, which I'm doing, um, but then the addition of quality fat and quality meat. Okay, so I've just been shopping, just spent £45 and I'm going to show you the contents of my five bags from Sainsbury's. Um, now in true style, now I'm going to go through everything I've bought, even though some things aren't relevant. First of all, let me tell you, for those of you who've been following my videos, you remember me getting really excited about these large spring onions. Well, I thought, oh yes, here's the Egyptian large spring onions again. And then I was shocked to see they're actually from Kent in the United Kingdom. Now these ones aren't organic, but they are as big, if not bigger, than the uh, <laughs> Egyptian ones. So to my Egyptian boys out there, we can do them as big as you. I've yet to find out whether they're as strong, but they are as big. Um, next... I'm going to be having eggs in the morning for breakfast, so I've bought this um, British organic watercress to have with it, which again will be delicious. Um, from there, I bought falafels. Okay, these are the pre-prepared falafels. I bought three different kinds, I'm going to show you. So these are the pre-prepared falafels, and these have got a little bit of breadcrumb in them. Okay, only a little bit, um, it doesn't say the percentage. Um, but a little bit of bread come in them, but they are delicious and again on the go it's a good snack So I'm going to take those to London with me when I go at the weekend um, Then I, I've shown you this before. This is the falafel mix and again, this is organic Okay, so this is really really great, but it is the quick and easy version. It's processed So what I've done is got the ingredients which will be coming shortly and I'll be showing I'm going to make my own falafel It's going to be outstanding That's one ninety nine, by the way um, Now my favorite food in the whole world which is salmon fillet. It's got those on offer so for me my mum and my stepdad. So we'll be having those maybe tonight, maybe for tomorrow lunch. Um, then, guys, I bought some ghee. Okay, so this is clarified butter, and uh, I used a lot in Indian cooking. Anybody who's Indian who's trying to lose weight just stays off the ghee. Um, but that's the worst thing you can do, guys, because again, it's nice quality fat. Okay, this is only butter. Um, and again, this is not the sort of thing you should be cutting out. You should be cutting out sugar if you're trying to lose weight, not fat. Obviously, don't eat that whole pot, but a little bit of ghee in your cooking is a lot healthier than having a little bit of sugar. Um, the obviously the butter, the actual butter version of that is the so organic unsalted butter, which is one pound eighteen today in Sainsbury's. So again, stock up on that. My mum's terrible for getting clover and still um, butters that have been had oil in to make them spreadable. So again. To do that, I'm just going to fill the bottle full of organic and salted butter and she'll go for that instead of buying some because she's a penny, penny pincher some, most of the time. Um, right, so let's talk falafels. These are the chickpeas. I'm going to make a separate video how to make the falafel. You need to soak those overnight. So that is chickpeas and they're only about 70 something pence. Um, what I'm going to be doing this time, I'm actually going to be rolling the falafels in sesame seeds before frying them. So that's going to be nice. So that was bag number one. Bag number two, right, this follows on for the recipe for the falafels. I've got this um, parsley, which again is in a tub, so that will last me a couple of weeks. I can keep that growing. Um, then the other ingredient is the coriander. And then the other ingredient is cumin, which is coming. We don't have any fresh, so we'll be getting some of that one. Um, then the other thing I'm going to be making are these butter beans. In Egypt, they make these are one of my favourite foods in the whole world on top of falafel is butter beans in tomato and onion sauce. So I'll be showing you how to make those. And again, delicious, especially if you've got children that like baked beans or you like baked beans. These are homemade baked beans with no additives, no preservatives, and they taste amazing. Um, got some British chilies here from Bedfordshire. Again, nice and big. I, I did want the really, um, they had something called Scotch ones, which were really um, hot. And then I read, and they were from 
Netherlands or some of the Belgium. They weren't even Scottish. Um, this is the purple sprouting broccoli, which I'm going to have roasted, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, and then these 12 organic, free-range British eggs. Okay, the only ones that you should be having. They are mixed weight, so they're cheaper, guys, instead of getting all large or all medium. We don't need to be uh, fussy, do we? Um, bag number three, I've got some organic mushrooms in it. I've got some avocados. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those, but what I'm going to do with them. And this little bad boy, it's still in its packet. It was 78p, um, and this is a fish in here. So one of the big things it recommends in the preconception plan is to have fish, especially fish eyes. Okay, so in here... I can't actually, oh yeah, rainbow trout this is. This is a rainbow trout. And basically I'm going to be making a fish soup with the whole contents, including especially its eyes. I can't bring myself around to eating the eyes yet, but we'll start with the soup, okay? Um, and then, check this out. This is cute. Oh, look, a little poisson. Look, one of those little birds. So again, when you are going to start eating meat, you might as well just go in and have the best from the beginning. Um, and I bought a whole chicken because it was looked quite good offer. Five pounds and nine pence, and this is a corn-fed chicken. Okay, so it's not organic, but it is corn-fed, which is actually more important than organic. What these birds are eating are more important than uh, what they're being injected with. Um, two more bags left to go. This is just a little bag now. Um, in here, we have some um, organic celery, which I'm going to dip in some peanut butter. Then this, guys, is, remember when I've told you before, organic um, soy sauce is one of the worst things. Well, this is naturally fermented soy sauce. Um, so I actually got this for you guys because I wanted you to see. I will be making a separate video on soy sauce in that bottle in a moment. Um, and then my final bag over here, I wanted to try this. I know it's canned and stuff, but I thought good for emergency use. It's a carrot, coriander and ginger soup, and that's so organic and it was reduced as well. Still expensive for 54p, but I think it'll taste great. Um, a mackerel pate, again, that was reduced. I thought I'd try that. The ingredients weren't that bad when I read them. Um, smoked haddock, smoked salmon, full fat soft cheese, mayonnaise, unsalted butter, single cream, lemon juice, corn flour, sugar, horseradish, white pepper. So again, it's not too processed and... Uh, Again, it's got the mackerel in, so that's great. Um, one clove of garlic. I don't actually really like garlic, but it did set on all the recipes for the falafel, it says garlic, so I'll be adding a tiny little bit of that. I'm not looking forward to smelling my hands after. Um, organic, crunchy peanut butter. And then finally, I thought I'd try these. I've never seen them before. And these are British Anya potatoes, sweet and nutty. So I'm thinking those in a load of butter with... Maybe with that salmon, that'll be really nice tonight or tomorrow. Um, so that's been my shopping. Um, I'd say that was £45, more than I would normally spend, but I've bought a lot of things there, like the soy sauce and all the ghee and stuff that are going to last me for a while. And obviously I did spend out the chicken and the salmon. So that's it, guys. Um, welcome to After the Daniel Fast. If you've got any questions, anything, please comment below. Um, I look forward to letting you know how my body's reacting to things. Um, I just want to tell you on day one, which is today, I've had some eggs this morning and I did have diarrhea. So again, my body is, um, as we thought, would take some time to get back used to proteins. So thank you very much and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye bye.